Today I'd like to talk to you about standby generator maintenance. Uh, oftentimes, uh, standby generators seem to get, be neglected, um, usually just due to the fact that, you know, it sits on the side of your home. A lot of people just, you know, they set it up and they forget about it. Um, but, you know, this is a machine. It requires, you know, certain maintenance things, not too much maintenance, but there are some things that, you know, you'd like to do, especially to get it ready for certain seasons. So first off, changing the oil. You're gonna to wanna to change the oil on your generator. This is probably the most common thing that needs to be done. It should be done annually. And on top of that, uh, if it's ran for a certain time period, which it should outline in your uh, manual, you're gonna to wanna to change the oil during that time. So for example, you know, if a year passes and I haven't had any major outages, I'm going to wanna to change the oil. But if, you know, for some odd reason, or, you know, if I get a major outage um, and it runs for, let's say, 100 to 200 hours in that time frame, after that has happened, I'm going to want to change the oil during that time. Uh, next is the air filter and spark plugs. Uh, again, just like your car, you know, they've got air filters, spark plugs. You got to do a tune up every once in a while. It's not as common to do air filters and spark plugs just due to the fact that it's not running as often, so you're not getting a lot of dirt coming in there and spark plugs because it's usually a you know a vapor gas, so natural gas or propane. Um, they usually don't get fouled out as much. So usual duration on these are uh, sometimes in the manual just say as needed or every two to three years. So uh, just one thing to keep in mind: you could pop out a spark plug and check and make sure it looks good. Uh, you know. A lot of the time I tell customers, take the air filter out, just bang it on the ground, get some of the debris out of it, um, and then you can just put it back in. Um, which leads me to my next debris. You want to keep everything clear of the vents on these generators. So they're going to sit there and, you know, leaves and, you know, even in the wintertime, you'll get snow build up. Uh, you know, you don't want to have a bunch of shrubs all around it because usually the other problem with that is anything on the exhaust side of that is going to get killed by the uh, hot exhaust of that generator. Um, but just making sure that you just keep it clear, um, open up the generator, make sure there's no leaves or debris inside the enclosure and whatnot. Uh, you know, just general upkeep with that. Um, while you're opening it up, checking the battery. The battery terminals on these can get corroded. Um, it's actually a pretty common occurrence. They're outside in the elements. You'll get you know corrosion buildup. It's going to look like a little village of Smurfs growing on the <laughs> on the terminals, and you're going to want to get rid of that. Um, you know, it could cause issues with starting. It could cause uh, discharge of the battery. Um, it's actually pretty simple. Um, you know, pop the battery terminal off. You can get a little wire brush. Uh, if you get uh, baking soda, you can pour that on top of it. It helps dissolve some of that corrosion. Or stop by a local automotive store. They'll have battery cleaning kits uh, to do that for you. So just something to keep in mind because the batteries are one thing that uh, a lot of customers neglect to look into. Um, also, a lot of the generators, though, will tell you if there is an issue with uh, the battery or if it's discharged. So which brings me to my next accessories. Um, here we have, uh, basically it's a Generac Wi-Fi enabled uh, meter, which actually gives you the level of your propane tank. Uh, another thing that kind of just gets looked over, how much propane is in that tank. If I do have, you know, if I'm expecting a, a long-term outage for a hurricane or there's a storm coming, I want to make sure that I have enough fuel to run this generator. Um, also making sure I have, you know, connectivity with it. Um, a lot of the generators are coming with, you know, uh, either Wi-Fi connection or an Ethernet connection. So you can monitor what the generator is doing, whether you're home or not. Uh, just good things to have on, on hand and installed on the generator. So thanks for listening. Uh, remember to subscribe below, click the like button. And if you do have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. Thank you.